Everyone has their own dreams and adventures. This is ours. Good morning. So it's a little bit windy on this dog walk today. So hopefully the audio is coming across okay. And it appears there's a helicopter going past. So it seems everybody's against me this morning. <laughs> so um, Jess is just getting ready. And then our first job today is we're gonna head up and fetch the car. So it's about four miles, give or take. Um, quite nice scenery though. I think we walked past the beach and um, a little sort of coastal path. So we'll take you along for the ride. So let's get going. There's a bus. There's no buses running today, she says. I've Googled it. <laughs> Right then guys, so um, the sun is out. It's so bright here. Lovely little weather. So we've got a number of jobs we want to get done this morning um, and then we're going to head out this afternoon. Um, have a run out to Zertski. I was waiting for validation there, but I don't think she can hear me. Um, so yeah, so the first job we're going to do is our tender. So we bought this uh, a few months ago and unfortunately we've never actually pumped it up so the first job is to get it pumped up and over here i have spotted in the water is a step <laughs> which we need to get up on this boat so me and the tender are going to go on a little mission across the water to recover the step first job though is to get it off the boat um, best way i think we're going to do this is use our spinnaker line and we're going to basically hoist it up and move it over onto the pontoon and then we can get it pumped up and grab the oars and, and yeah get cracking so let's get going so we've got a brand new crew member that we've got to introduce you to everybody meet our tender called bob Bob the tender. <laughs> now at this mooring we've got a bit of an issue in that the boat is quite a lot higher than the pontoon and I'm very short so Matt's been having to give me a little hoof up to get me onto the boat but yesterday he spotted a step in the water just opposite so Matt's getting in the tender <laughs> rowing over to the step so I can get in and out the boat. <laughs> this is how we get Salvage it <laughs> out of the water. There's nobody around. Yeah, there's nobody around. It's just a bit cold. Now I'm going to attach the rope to this because I felt to paddle. You can pull me back. I just want to say as well that we did go and try and buy a, uh, yeah, a step the other day and it was like 20 euros. It was ridiculously expensive. For a little plastic step. Considering there's one right there for free. We hope. I mean, it might be absolutely pieces and no good. In which case, this was all just a, a little bit of fun. Right here. But everything is messed up. And it feels like no one cares. When you're busy growing up. There is quite a lot of water in the boat. We just had an absolute pour down. And there's a tour in <laughs> There's a tour boat just coming into the marina. Perfect timing. I no longer need a leg up to get on the boat. So step retrieval has been completed. Matt's just bringing the tender around to the other side of the pontoon. They're very much staring. <laughs> I 
Give him a wave, Matt. I got the whole boat. What happened? I had literally the whole boat. Woo! So we are temporarily back in Browershaven. We're just having a really quick fly and visit. We've got to return the fuel tank that we borrowed to fill up Albatross with diesel and also the key that we had for the facilities. We need to take that back to the Harbour Master and get our deposit back. And we also need to have a pop into the Chandler. Awake on the floor, looking out for one more. This is so unreal. I must have been So the Chandlers at Browershaven didn't have the bit we needed so we're going to head to another bigger one just south of the island but on the plus side what a lovely day on the Grevelingham there. So we've just come to Zurich Sea, we think, um, to, to finally get this coffee I've been talking about for about three weeks now. So um, we'll show you guys around and hopefully get that coffee. So just before we um, get into town, it's time for fun facts with Jess. So facts about where we currently are. So fact number one, in World War One, Xerxes was accidentally bombed by the British Air Forces and killed three civilians. Okay, fun facts. So time for Jess's fun fact number two. Now we're not going to find them all, but there are over 500 historical monuments here. We best get searching. And yet still no coffee shop. <laughs> followed the large tower that we could see from when we pulled up in the car park and no it's not a coffee shop <laughs> it's the museum which is just behind me um lovely old building with a really nice spire I turn up just gonna avoid getting hit by a van as well while I'm at <laughs> So I just asked Jess if she could translate um, what this was. It says, let me show you guys. So it says, where are we? Um, classic sandwich, classic club sandwich. So what does that translate to? So it translates to club sandwich classic, fried bacon lardons, smoked chicken breast, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, and tuna mayonnaise. Mmm, tuna and mayonnaise on my club. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it. Yummy. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with that and a coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so we just had a lovely lunch. It was really, really nice. And as you saw, I finally got my coffee. And we got some nummy churros. We have churros. So I think that just leaves one last thing, which is fun fact number three. So fun fact number three, the flag of Xerixy looks like Dennis the Menace. It's black and white, black and red stripes. We'll put it here. <laughs> you are mental. <laughs> Hey. Oh, I ain't gonna live like this no more Most of my life's been waging war Till I found peace, I could have swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no more Morning guys so we woke up this morning and didn't actually have any breakfast so we decided to walk and find the shop which appears to be in the middle of center parks so it's very wet um, so yeah we're hoping we can find a shop but if not there's lots of other fun things there's a nice restaurant and obviously um, if you've got a boat where we have you can use all these facilities I imagine at a cost but um, we're just trying to find the shop at the minute lots of signs for golf and Trains. Trains. What's this? Shark Island. Shark Island. Matt wants to play on Shark Island. Matt wants to play on Shark Island. <laughs> okay, so that was about an 11 on the awkward scale. <laughs> um, we were looking for the shop and managed to find our way into the breakfast queue for Scent Parks, which wouldn't have been a complaint, but I don't think we were allowed as we don't actually have a ticket. So we are venturing further. We're going to head round this really smoky lagoon looking thing. You can see it in the background and either find ourselves in the staff's canteen <laughs> or the shop. Wish us luck. Right, so we managed to get some bits for breakfast and a couple of bits for lunch and tonight. Well, that was quite a bad experience. That so was dreadful. There was so many people queuing up for what I thought was the breakfast queue. It was actually Aquamundo, which is some kind of like swim like club. Water slides, like a water park thing. Yeah. But there was just so many people. Nobody would let you pass, no masks, nothing. It was just, it was mental. So yeah, we're heading back. <laughs> okay guys, so a little bit of a change of plan today. Um, we're just walking back to the boat. Uh, the weather's looking really, really good. So I think we're gonna head out for a sail. Yay! So let's go. Before you leave, what you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye bye. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes. And my crooked little heart that seems so rebellious is falling apart. That's a steam train. Today is our last day here, Aww. but we are heading back to France. Um, plenty of projects to get on with in France, plenty of exploring to do. Um, as you know, we split our time between here in the Netherlands on the boat and back in France where we're renovating our own house. So when we head back, we've got a bit more work to do on the house, but um, 
we're going to get out and show you guys some local places and the you know, Christmas markets coming up. Plenty of things to look forward to over the next few weeks. So, uh, so yeah, please consider subscribing to our channel. It really, really helps us. And, you know, we get really happy when we see a new subscriber. Give us a like and ring the little bell for when the next video is coming up. And we will see you guys later. Bye.